It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show, sponsored by Kia. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome to 2K Sports. We're already getting uh, the feel for this new NBA season. Uh, taking it all in with me, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. And tonight, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Orlando Magic. Checking out the Magic. This is a team they played pretty well against last season, going 3-1. and one. They'll look to keep that edge tonight. And we'll get to see the number one overall pick from the draft tonight in Ben Simmons. He guy is such a talent. I, I, doesn't, I can't remember exactly where he went to school. All I know is number one picks that come out of LSU have a great shot of becoming legendary. I should know. Ben has all the talent in the world, but it will still take some time for him to develop. 4,382. You know, know what, what that is? Times about. that you've talked about yourself. I'm, not ta I'm just giving factual facts okay. right now. Okay, but he did put up insane numbers. This guy no, put up the same numbers. Insane. Insane. Okay. 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 I thought numbers. you said the no. same numbers. He's not that good. What, well, he didn't have SLN? No. No Shaq like no. no. Had, and the thing is, you just reeled him into another mention of himself. All right, that's 4,380. Chris Jackson like numbers. Okay, well, probably the best player possibly in the country of Australia. Yeah. Uh, can you give me some uh, some of your Aussie lingo? It's getting better, Mike. It's getting better. It sounds a little English to me. Yeah, no, it does. the English is it's getting better. That's English. <laughs> well, straight, it's getting better, Mike. Okay. Yeah, I got every accent you want. Both have made in it. Yeah. You, got, you got anything? You got anything else? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah, that's true. See you later. It's getting better, Kevin. Going down to you now, Mike. <laughs> Everyone is in their seats here at the Wells Fargo Center as the 76ers look to grab a win here in Philadelphia. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. The Philadelphia 76ers, they won their last contest that game against the Hawks. And they put it all together in that game. It added up to a phenomenal win. How about the energy level defensively in that game? I mean, they made finding an open shot a very difficult task for their opponents. And it wasn't just in the half court. I mean, I thought they were excellent in transition defense as well. They didn't give up any easy baskets because they always had good floor balance and got back after the miss. Now let's send it down to David Aldridge standing by from the sidelines. David. Well, guys, when you talk to Perez about his time with the national team, you can just tell how much he valued that time. He says that he was always trying to pick the minds of the vets on the team and to watch how they prepared for the tournament. He's looking forward to returning to the fold when the next international competition begins. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And what a team the U.S. put together for that tournament. And Perez didn't look out of place on it at all. By, by the time they played Australia, in the finals, any doubters that might have wondered why he was on the roster were quickly silenced. And so much excitement in Philadelphia around these nice young 76ers. Game, huh? But the memory still fresh of when this team set the longest losing streak in the history of major North American sports. 28. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. And Simmons kicks to Okafer. There's a good screen up top Bayless buries it from three point range. Bayless has got his first three points of the game. Well I tell you when Okafor sees a wide open teammate he really zips the ball over to set him up for a clean look at the bucket. Down kicks to Fournier. Parked down low that time and he got the three second call. And let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that blocked the most shots mistakes. in the NBA last year. Can make those the 76ers mistakes. third. A big part of their defense really revolved around their ability to block shots at the rim. It, it's so valuable to have that kind of backline protection allows you to be aggressive on the perimeter. Back to Okafer. 76ers moving the ball around. And that one's good, Simmons. What precision and focus from Simmons, just feeling no one can guard him down on the block. Brown outside. Oh, 
135 left in the first. Ibaka vicious to Vucevic. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Vucevic has got his first bucket in this one. The 76ers leading by five. It's stolen by Vucevic. Here's Peyton. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Well, I think the post game of Peyton catches defenders off guard. I mean, he's got a lot of moves down there. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. The numbers now for Nikola Vucevic. Great showing for him last season. Averaged about 18 points a game. Nine rebounds and two assists. Guys, he's a difference maker off the bench. Steps into that front court and more than holds his own. You know, his willingness to bang down low, move opponents off the block, those are valuable contributions. Up top, Brown. He had a 15 point outing in their last game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. Gordon, the pass to Brown. Just five on the clock. Feeds it to Young. No good with the triple. Philadelphia has gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. And Bayless kicks to Anderson. Back to Bayless. Tipped away. Stolen by Gordon. Brown outside. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Well, you know what I like to say? Persistence pays, and with Gordon, he's the kind of guy who just does not rest on the glass. Here's a screen by Noel. One second left. And that does it for the first quarter. 76ers lead by four. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Here's what Prez had to say about his experience with USA Basketball this past summer. Representing my country, man, on the court was a dream come true. <laughs> I got to play with some of the players I admire most growing up. And I don't know, it's crazy how it just comes full circle. So I just, I went out there, worked hard, and I did my best to soak it up and, uh, you know, not take any moment I had with those guys for granted. And it gave me a ton of extra experience going in my rookie season that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise, you know, and that's, that's made a huge difference for me at the start of the season, I think. I've always wondered, guys, how does winning on the international stage compare to winning an NBA championship? Well, I think every player would love the opportunity to win for their country and for their NBA team. But, but if I had to choose one, I'd pick winning an NBA championship because you're competing against the best talent every night. But both are great at Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Nerlens Noel. Okafor comes in for Carl Landry. Simmons checked in for Robert Covington. And Luwawu subbed in for Jared Bayless. Luwawu is out there with Henderson. Then it's Simmons. Then there's Embiid. And it's Okafor in at the four spot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. And Nikola Vucevic averaging a double-double over the last four seasons. And yet, there are some questions about how those numbers translate in the win-loss column. Well, you know, he's not especially quick or explosive. And he is big and strong and takes advantage of those attributes. The league seems to be going away from the slower, bigger post-up guys. If you're not a dunker and a shot blocker or a three-point shooter these days, you can get lost in the shuffle a bit, but this guy, Vucevic, brings a lot of good stuff to the table, and I think it's incumbent upon his team to keep him in positions where he can succeed. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, we know Mario Hazonia is a sharpshooter out of Croatia, and some say he was the cockiest player from that 2015 draft class. He once said, I've never had respect to anybody on a basketball court. I don't care. Whether it's a veteran or a young player standing in front of me, I always have the same goal. I want to run over everybody. Kevin? What a quote. He, he is not shy. Thanks, D.A. Okafor against Ibaka. 
And here is Simmons. He had a 30-point outing their last game against Atlanta. Offline from the high post. 122 left to play in the first half. Green dishes to Peyton. Passes it to Vucevic. From about 16. And yep, a couple bounces and it falls. Vucevic has got seven points. And throughout his career, you like to see this in a player. Vucevic has worked on expanding his range. Now he has a very reliable stroke from the mid-range area. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Jared Bayless has checked in for Luabu. Evan Fournier has checked in for Orlando. On defense, Orlando. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And Ben Simmons was so highly praised during his brief college career. Came in with lofty expectations and his play on the court really nothing short of amazing. Still, his team faltered and he didn't even get a chance to play in the tournament. And that's a rare thing for a top prospect like him. And the 76ers making a change here. Covington's checked in. There's 37 seconds left in the second quarter. And they get it. Offensive rebound. Here's Okafor. That shot is no good. And he's one for three from the floor. And Brown now atop the key. Green, the pass to Vucevic. Outside, Green. Brown outside. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Orlando this season. Yeah, and they lost the season series to this squad last time around. Maybe a little extra motivation tonight to show they've improved. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Two teams in the bottom half of the conference, as far as respect goes. They're both scratching and clawing to try to get a little more of that respect. That'll do it. Thanks, Kevin. Coach, it looked like the ball really was moving there in the first half. The game is simple when you make the extra pass, when you play the right way. Uh, we start out playing this way. we got to continue with it for four quarters. I know that's your area of emphasis, Frank. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Keep it up, guys. We have some good momentum. I love the energy, fellas. I really do. We welcome you back to Philadelphia, a town full of history. That city hall right there with the statue of William Penn perched atop it. The second half just about to get going here. Nice game. Great performance by Dario Saric. Boy, did he put on a show from beyond in that first half. Let's see if the halftime break has any cooling effect on him. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We'll soon find out because I guarantee they're going to keep feeding it to him behind the arc until he does cool off. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Joel Embiid. He's checked in for Okafor. Noel comes in for Sarich. Carl Landry's checked in for Simmons. And Robert Covington subbed in for Luamu. On the court for Orlando. Brown, he's in at three. Hezonia is out there with Young. And there's Gordon. And it's Biambo at the center filling out the middle. Hard to imagine them losing this game if they can keep shooting like that. Not many empty trips for this group. It seems everything's falling for them this half. The feed now to Landry. There's the dish to Covington. Five to shoot. Hits the three-point bomb. Covington's got his second basket of the night. How about the alertness of Covington? I mean, sensing the separation from the defense and then cashing in on that space that was created. Shot from 12. And too long on the shot. The 76ers trail by 20. Inside. Biambo and the dunk by Biambo. And that's the classic one two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. That indicates the importance of great on the ball defense, as was displayed right there. 
love the assist. I mean, he knew exactly where that bounce pass had to be to create that opportunity. Embiid against Brown. Back to Young. Gordon for three. Offensive rebound. Biombo lays it in without an inch of room around him. Biombo's got six in the quarter. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Now here's Bayless, defended by Young. Bayless with it. There's a screen by Noel. Off the pick. It's off. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's the Magic running away with it. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. And they sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone. All right, Prez, I've done all the legwork. And as a lottery pick, you're going to have plenty of options. See, these companies, they believe in what you're going to be in the league, and they see your potential. So they want you to represent their brand. Now, let's take a look at the options. Nike wants you bad. See, their plan is to bring you on the team right away with a straight merch deal and put you in a pair of Team Nike shoes. Then you'll be one of the faces of the brand, leading to your own signature shoe, billboards, commercials, the whole nine. Can't go wrong with the swoosh, baby. <laughs> And right there in the same family is the Jordan brand. I mean, you know you're doing something right. You got MJ on your side. They want to start with a straight merch deal, which puts you in a pair of Team Jordan shoes. And if you continue to rise and go where you're going, we're looking at a signature shoe, billboards, commercials, the whole nine. You know the game, and the game knows you. You know, who better to have on your side than Jordan, right? Guess what it is now. Now this is when it starts to get really interesting. Under Armour is banking on you being part of their team. They want to make you the face of their brand sooner than later. They're talking cash deal, lots of opportunity for bonuses, and a UA team shoe. I mean, this is a real opportunity to get in line with a fast, young, hustling company. Right? What do you think? And let's not forget Adidas. Adidas wants to run with your presidential theme. I mean, pff, God bless America, right? We're talking cash deal, and bonuses. And they want to put you in your very own team Adidas shoe. Then down the line, we can get a signature shoe, commercial, the whole nine. Things can really take off. So I think we go with Adidas if you want to run with your presidential theme and nickname. What do you say? You're Adidas and you? Or Adidas and me? So it's up to you. I mean, I know it's a lot to think about, but you're in a pretty good position right here. Look, I don't know, Bruce. I feel like this is harder than picking a college, you know? Like, way harder. I, I need a, a spreadsheet to remember all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. But, you know, personally, you can't lose, right? You're in a win-win situation. So it's wherever you feel the most comfortable. And not just on your feet, but as a business partner. So take your time, kick back, relax, think about it, and I just need an answer in about five minutes. Great choice. This is the beginning of big things. Jordan Brand is going to be pumped. I hope so, man. I'm excited to get it started. Oh.